so hey guys um in writing news about all i can really report right now is that i have something uh in the works for my youtube channel which uh hopefully i'll be able to talk about in a little bit uh once i get some feedback on on um what i'm working on and i am also uh, making a list of a couple of short story projects that i will be able to work on between other things or maybe when i just need a break and uh you know, hopefully it'll be uh, some good ideas. You know, right now I'm just kind of doing, I guess, the brainstorming session, just writing things for, you know, short uh, pieces that I can do that will expand the universe and, you know, not necessarily be like a huge time sink. But, uh, you know, I think it'll help at least a little bit with, you know, feeling like I'm making progress, especially with a lot of the larger uh, things that I'm working on, you know, trying to break it into smaller pieces. I think will help but you know uh, it'll be uh, some good stuff I'm, I'm trying to also make uh, what I'm calling a master list for all of my various settings so that I have an, a clear idea of you know where everything is uh, what I've worked on what I have to work on still and where everything fits loosely chronologically it's not quite the same thing as a timeline but it's sort of in order in that you know this way I can sort of keep track of of, I guess, the overall, you know, projects that I'm working on. As far as the job search, it has resumed. I am, I took a week off pretty much between Christmas and New Year's because since I hadn't found employment by then, I really didn't think anybody was going to call me to interview between that period. Um, I wanted to go home to visit mom, but um, I wasn't sure whether or not I should make plans because I was you know, hoping I would have a job by then and then have an idea of what my schedule was. But for right now, it's, you know, still up in the air. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still in the running for one of the positions I think I interviewed for. At least I hope I am. Supposedly, they're supposed to call me sometime this month for a second interview. If not, then I guess that they have moved on. I have applied to a couple more uh, new positions at my old employer, so we'll see how that goes. Um, if not, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to uh, go to plan B if, you know, one way or the other. And I think that I've more or less nailed down a timeline for when that's going to be. So if I don't have any significant bites by the deadline, then I'm going to have to get some kind of a job just to get a money coming in and b to perhaps preserve the probability of my being able to take a trip later this year which i very much would like to do um you know tff is still on the schedule as far as you know theoretically uh being able to go because i mean that one i should be able to do one way or another but you know as far as uh you know i'm i really want to do the trek con again this year assuming that it happens because you know it's it's you know it's definitely important to me i'd like to i'd like to go but in order to do that i would need to start saving money and in order to do that i would need to have money coming in so one way or another i would just need to have some sort of a job sometime within uh the near future let's just say that for right now um i was aware and i saw on twitter that further confusion has been cancelled uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, I can understand with the the rise in cases of Omicron, and but honestly, I kind of hope that we were past all of this. You know, at least in the part that we had to cancel events like this because, you know, I mean, 2020 was pretty much the year of canceled everything. You know, everything was put on hold. And, you know, I'm not arguing that that was not something that needed to be done. It certainly was, but it was, you know, it's disappointing. It's, uh, you know, it's a bummer and it's even more of a bummer because, uh, you know, now that we have vaccines and other things to deal with this that, you know, we're still in the scenario where we need to take these kinds of measures because it's still a problem. You know, I mean, I'm hoping that it doesn't happen too often that most conventions are able to go ahead, but uh, I will be planning on getting a uh, my COVID booster shot next week if I can. And I would highly recommend that if you have not, that you do so. And, you know, I, I just recommend getting vaccinated and, you know, trying to get other people who haven't to do it. Um, 
you know i mean i just i i understand people have reasons that they that they can't or you know some of them don't uh feel like they need it but i mean i i would just say that if you have the option avail yourself of it it's free it is better than the alternative and i i think it's a good idea but i'm not gonna uh you know push one way or the other i guess uh you know just beyond gentle nudging but you know my hope is that most events are able to go on this year and uh, with luck we won't have any problems like that going forward um as far as immediate plans i'm gonna get as much done as i can over the next uh, four or five weeks i haven't decided exactly on uh you know i want to uh, keep my hair blue so whether or not that happens uh, at least insofar as as you know timing is mostly the big question um hopefully whatever job i get will be cool with it um but I'd like to do it before I have to go back to work, whatever job that ends up happening to be. So, I mean, what might end up happening is that I might end up, you know, waiting until I know I have a job and then just going the weekend before when I know I can afford it. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's like if I, it's, it's kind of a timing thing because ideally if everything works out according to plan and I am able to do TFF and the Trek Con, I really want my hair to be nice and blue for both. So it's, you know, and it looks best in the first three or four months after I do it. So, you know, that being said, I would like to time it so that it works out uh, to that end. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, I have to, I think I have to file taxes this year because of uh, my business. But I'm not exactly sure how that's supposed to work because I was on unemployment for half the year. So, you know, I paid taxes, but I don't know if they give you a W-2 like a job does. And that was really, I guess, my only uh, notable reportable income. So, I mean, I'm kind of a little uncertain because I, I don't think I'm going to be getting any kind of a refund, but I really just hope I don't owe anything. I also figure that perhaps because I, you know, inherently made less that that means I'll be in a lower tax bracket, but I don't know if that helps or hurts me either. So, you know, because I usually do like TurboTax or something. Normally, I would do my taxes early and just get it out of the way, but I'm kind of a little hesitant just because I, if I do owe anything, I would like to have a job in order to be able to pay whatever I might owe. So, you know, we'll see. But um, I guess that's it for right now. And, you know, hopefully I'll have some more solid information, if not the next vlog, then the vlog after that. So, you know, stay tuned and good luck, and I'll see you guys next time I record one of these. Catch you later. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. You can also find me on Twitter and a few other places on the web, or support me via Patreon or Ko-fi. Zebra hugs!